guys, now chef is going to show us one of the most popular Indian desserts. Gulab Jamun. Exactly, and it's so simple, you can see it's very few ingredients. And if you could just walk us through the list again real quickly. Fresh milk, butter, milk powder, wheat flour, baking powder. And that's it, and chef you would just basically knead it all together and... And mix it. Yes, and you kind of end up with something that like looks this. like that. And what chef is going to do now is make little balls. And, and deep fry. There you have it. You can try. Okay, I'll need gloves. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll let chef. No problem. <laughs> And here you get its famous shape. Round shape. Round shape. And yep. so make this ball. Exactly. So as soon as the oil is ready, you just chunk it in. And on the left we have a sugar syrup, which is going to get yeah, dunked in after being fried. Very easy. Very easy. And this is something you can actually try at home. You can just see how simple it is. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you never have too much gulab jamun. <laughs> okay. Part three is fine. <laughs> Once you get through that one. And how long? So you look at the color, and is that how you know that it's done? five to eight, five, five to six minutes? So you go by time. And low gas. Yes. Okay. Low heat. Low heat. Not high. Not heat. high. Low heat. That's the important point. Yeah. Very low heat. Yeah. And you can see it's not sizzling like yeah. it did when we were making the biryani. It's slowly cooking the oil. So it actually must soak up a lot of oil when it's cooking. Not much. Not much. So guys, now I say let's go talk to some of the dinner guests at the restaurant. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Sunil. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, by the way, my name is Dush. I'm the Hi, host Dush. for MTV Dad and Unwind. Great. Uh, and your name is, sir? Jagdesh. Jagdesh. Well, welcome to the restaurant. Uh, what, what, what are you having tonight? Uh, I think he knows the names a lot better than me. Okay. But what's the <laughs> lovely kebab? Well, basically, we're having an assortment of uh, various kinds of kebabs. Um, uh, mutton, vegetarian, non-veg, uh, and some of them are actually house specialties, which is uh, one of the reasons we come here. Great. And um, so you always just do kebabs, is it? it? Tends to be a favorite of mine, or I should say ours. We tend to like to eat uh, kebabs, and um, kebab, ke kebabs here are pretty good. The bread is light, as opposed to naan, which is much heavier, so you can really enjoy the meat. I mean, no, it just gives you that little bit of extra substance to have the roti around it, but this way you really appreciate the meats. Fantastic. You have your own little <laughs> so this is really, you know, I mean, Romani rotis are made for... Mm. Mm. Excuse me. They're made to be eaten with, with kebabs because you can wrap stuff around them. The other rotis also you can do it. This is tends to be more soft, more pliable, so it works like a wrap. So, this is really what we come for. That's great, and those are some great tips. If you are going to try out Mali roti next time, maybe get some kebabs and oh, yeah. try it out this way. Absolutely. I think that's really, really cool. Absolutely. Thank you so much, gentlemen. You guys enjoy your day.
So I've done my time in the kitchen and I feel it's my turn to feast like a Maharaja. And looking at this spread right here, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Dipanjali, what can I say this looks? So start with some starters. Start, yeah, okay, let's jump right in. <laughs> um, so what exactly am I being served right I'm now? I'm serving some boti kebab. Okay. Mutton seek kebab. Right, these are some of the stuff that we were making. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, the boti, I even see the kalamiri. Kalamari is back pepper okay. one. Will you be joining me as well? No, I uh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much kebab. Oh, thank you. Okay. Some try this chutneys. Yes, and you're saying, especially this. Maharaja's style. Yeah, and you said this was this a house special. This is very hot. Yes, and you call it what? The Indian wasabi. <laughs> wasabi, yeah. <laughs> Can you try? Right. It's a chili. Chili. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Small chilies. Oh, right, ground up with. Yeah. And how is it so light? What else do you put in it? It's uh, some curd. Curd, of course. Curd. It's mint. <laughs> yes, mint. And tamarind. It's tamarind. So try it. So I have my three sauces. And your kebabs. Kebabs. Then maybe I could try the vegetarian ones at the same time. Uh, what, 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 what are those two? That is with chili mili and ah. hara kebab. Right, chili mili is a longer one. Chili mili is a paneer base. Paneer base one, right. right. And harabara is all mixed vegetable. Okay. As you can see, kebabs come in varying sizes and textures. It's, it's really exciting to see all this. Okay. Thank you. And there are plenty of options for vegetarians. I mean, not just the kebabs, yeah, but the other items on the menu, right? Yes. So let's start actually with the vegetarian ones. Try them. Okay. Well, which sauce? Try the tamarind. Tamarind. Okay. Really good. I'm done with my starters, I think I'm gonna hit the mains now. So maybe let's try some naan. Right, and you guys have so many varieties. I mean, it's, it's just chili. like... Yeah, naan paradise. Chili naan, butter naan. Yeah. Garlic. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> try the cheese. Yes, I will try the cheese. Just use my hands? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'll just go with it. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> It's big. very cheesy. Okay. And uh, and you were even saying downstairs how um, you have this Kashmiri naan, which is a sweet naan, which Kashmiri, I've never, yeah. Yeah, I've never heard all, of it. All fruits, dried fruits, everything. Yeah, Stuff. so naans don't necessarily have to be savory. So that that was something new I learned today. So, so what I'm, do you like? This is brinjal? Yeah, I'll just go with... Um, Mutton vindalu, spicy. Yeah. That is prawn suhana. Okay. Crab meat muna. How about I dive into everything at once? <laughs> <laughs> I can, and paneer tikka masala. Paneer tikka masala. Yellow dal. Okay, how about we do this? I'll try half First, with the what naan. Do you, what do you like? So let's do, well there are six of those, right? So let's First do you try three. Yeah. Your favorite. Huh? Yeah, my favorite. So three of the dishes with the naan and I'll do three yeah. with the biryani. First, naan. And the interesting story behind the Vindaloo is that in most of India, it's actually a misconception where, because of Hindi, uh, they think Vindalu means that it's a curry with potatoes. potatoes. But actually, it's from Goa, where it's a Portuguese name. And what it really means, it's vinegar and chili. And that's why it's so spicy. It's not that it needs to have potato in it, but it's, it's funny how the dish has evolved and taken a life of its own, and now a potato is a must. This prawn suhana. Cheesy. Cheesy. So not spicy. It looks very spicy. Not spicy. Yeah, but it's it's not. Yeah. So that's just cheese melted on top. Cheese. Yeah. And very creamy. It looks extremely creamy. It's exactly how we said it would be. It's creamy, creamy. It's, it's mild, it's not spicy. So if you are worried about spices, good thing to order. And try your spicy dish. The spicy dish. Okay. Maybe I'll cut it up before I... <laughs> And diving in. <laughs> yeah, 
Here we go. Glorious grains of basmati cooked to perfection. And our authentic Lucknowi mutton biryani. Yes. That should be good. Thank you. And um, the three veg dishes, I guess. The paneer tikka masala, yeah, did you say? Try. Yeah. Paneer tikka masala. And the yellow dal. And uh, the third was? Binjol. Binjol. It's a tamarind flavor. And again, how special is it? This is a tamarind. You can try it. Right. Sure. This is dal tarka. Okay. Thank you. What is tarka? Tarka is tempered. Tempered. Okay. This so like in single, there's dal. Single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and brinjol. the brinjal. Brinjal salan. Thank you. Mm. All I can say is vegetarians are definitely not going to be. They're not going to feel that they're left out at all. The vegetarian dishes are perfect. So, if you're vegetarian, they hit the place. Everything was excellent. Thank you so Thank much, you. Dipanjo. Thank you. <laughs> and maybe we could do dessert now. Gulab jamun and kulfi. I'll do both. <laughs> <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> Very great. Super cool. Hot and cold, right next to each other. Mm. But they brought me extra treat. There's a <laughs> house. Less. Yeah, it's a house special. I've never come across this anywhere else in the world. And so much nicer than I expected it to be. I said avocado and curd. But it's great. And thank you so much for joining us. This has been a fantastic meal. Thank you so much. Well. Guys, I'm on cloud number nine after that fantastic meal. And I've helped myself to a complimentary glass of pan shot, which is a house specialty. And yeah, you heard it right, pan shot. So it actually has beetle leaf in it. Wow, it's cleansed my palate and freshened my breath at the same time. But that's a wrap. So I will see you again next week, same time, with Vishwak and I for interview sports on Dining on Wine. Stay lean, but not hungry. Unwind with fabulous savings on your HSBC credit card. Visit any HSBC branch. Click www.hsbc.lk. Call 0722511533 to apply for an HSBC credit card. HSBC credit card, the one card for home and away.